All right, folks, welcome back. 2020 was a year many of us learned to pivot. The pandemic impacted everything and shut down essentially everything. And for others, it was a time to get a bit creative. So we have Miss, Miss Chrissy and Wesley Reynolds. They are the owner of Sun and Spruce Soap. Did I say that correctly? You did. Oh, thank goodness. All right, good. And they're discussing how you all transitioned. So this was actually a side hustle at first. Well, what's the answer to that question? Go ahead. It was a side hustle, and uh, <laughs> then it became much bigger than a side hustle should be to the point of we actually left to follow our dreams and make it our full-time job. Well, how did that start for you? So you originally had the side hustle with the soap. Yeah, I'm the soap nerd of the family, so I would be out buying this kind of stuff if we went to uh, events or anything like that where yeah. people were selling it. I was always buying it, and in the back of my mind, I'm like, you know, I can do this. Okay. And I want to do it, and I'm into it, and then it became like a hobby type affair, and then it became really popular and grew. I look at that. And so how did you help your husband out? Um, well, it was his dream first. I used handmade soap when we got together, um, and I love it. I think that it's amazing what the properties of it do for your skin. Okay. Um, and when he got popular and he needed help, I was like, well, what else could I make? And a lot of the other products that you see are things that I created to go with the soap and complement the soap, but were also still natural and skin friendly. So talk to us about it. So it's natural, skin friendly. What makes your soap stand out compared to other different products? Uh, well, I make my own blend of oils. Um, I'm always tinkering with my blend. Mm -hmm. uh, soap is made from fats, so think about how many different vegetable oils there are. The world is your oyster, really, mm -hmm. and each different oil brings a different property to the soap, so you're okay. constantly tinkering and adjusting amounts and proportions to get the exact right effect you want, and I use all my products, so I'm constantly <laughs> testing it. Well, it's good. It's good. At least you know what you have. Yeah. And so you all have participated in many different festivals throughout the years. You recently just wrapped up with the Highland Festival. How was that? Oh, the Maple Festival. It was Excuse cold. Me. Yes. Yeah, it was cold, but it was really good. We love being there. Um, Highland County Chamber of Commerce does a wonderful job, uh, and that's, you know, a great area to go and see people that we only get to see a couple times a year from mm -hmm. D.C. and Shenandoah Valley. Well, how's the response been for people buying y'all's soap? Um, we call them our soapies. Um, they've, been, <laughs> they've been really great. It's been a wild ride for three years. Um, mm -hmm. We feel really lucky to get to, to make everything for everybody. And, uh, yeah, it's been great. They've been wonderful. And so you have different types of soap? Yeah, we have 41 different kinds all the time, mm -hmm. um, and then we do seasonals, um, so we like to switch it up a lot. Sure. We don't want anybody to get bored. Uh, we do listen if people are like, hey, I want this, can you do this? So yeah, we change it up a lot. Which one is the best seller, if you mind me asking? Uh, the oats, milk, and honey. That's uh, one of our goat's milk soaps, so it's double the moisture. His recipe is already really I'm moisturizing. Smell, smell it. Yeah, mm -hmm. of course. Keep going, I'm sorry, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That one's like a it's double really shot of moisture, especially this time of year when you get like the dry, flaky skins. Oh, sorry, that's just me right Right now. Oh, you can keep that one when we're done. Thank you, Kelly. I'm going to keep this one. And so you all are set up a shop on Williamson Road. Yeah, at Lamplighter Mall. When did that actually happen? Um, Sorry, as as far as retail, we've been there for a little over a year. Yeah. Okay. His workshop was always there, but. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. And how does it feel to be in business, the fact that you all made your dreams a reality? <laughs> it was really scary, but it's been a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the most rewarding thing I think we've ever done. For you? For sure. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, it's like the dream. I mean, I go there every day and like pull in the parking lot. And I'm like, this is mine. Like, this is <laughs> I mean, after years of unlocking the door for somebody else, knowing that I have something to unlock that's mine, that my kid can do when he gets a little bit older. Yeah. I mean, that's great. And you also have your kid here, but is he going to be uh, Case and a little Case can wave? Mm -hmm. But do you plan on incorporating him into the business in the future? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. he, 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 <laughs> He's already incorporated. He Oh, the little oh, yeah. gummy bear soaps right there are actually oh, nice. his invention. He's not old enough to do the cold process soap because it has lye, it. but he knows how to make the bears. That was his idea. So, yeah, he definitely wants to be involved and do it. Beautiful, beautiful. And if people want to find out where you are, you have Facebook, social media. Tell us where. Oh, yeah. Um, so if you, we have a Facebook, Instagram, website, um, and our Facebook has a pin list of events. You can also find us at the Salem Farmer's Market every Saturday. There we go. Yep. And where else? Oh, uh, in our shop. And we have stockists all over the place. There's like 24 stores <laughs> within two hours that carry us. But it's all on the page if they find the, the website or and the, the name Facebook. Of the name of the page is? Oh, uh, sunandspruce.com. i got to make sure to put it out there. Yes. <laughs> well, thank you all. The Riddles family being here this morning. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, appreciate thank you. you. All right. Thank you. Marshall.